Hello, Roy. My name is Ricky. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Ricky. Thank you for having me today. And I got to tell you, my friend, I love a good medium, a good psychic. And when you add gay on top of it, like, girl, I think we're going to have a good time during this reading. <laughs> we're going to have a very good time. I'm excited about it. Absolutely, right? Don't you like, that's a trifecta for me right there. Literally, like it's it's everything you could want and more. But I'm so excited to chat with you because I really want to get to know you a little bit more before we jump into this reading. I think your story is so fascinating. So I've always had the gift since I was about three years old. I've always been able to see the spirit realm around me, right? Um, parents have been very supportive throughout my entire journey. Psychic mediums get callings at whenever the spirit realm feels like it's time for you to embark on the journey. For me, it was in the beginning of COVID. Um, that's when I really felt it. I felt a huge amount of sorrow in the world, a huge amount of loss in the world. And I felt like that was when the spirit realm was needing more people like myself to be able to deliver messages to so many who were losing so many loved ones. And that's when I really embarked and said, this is now my journey. I'm taking this on full time. And this is what I do now full time. That is seriously so incredible. And I love that you mentioned that you're doing this full time because I went on your YouTube channel and girl, you are doing some readings with some really fascinating people, including people in the LGBTQ plus community, some queens from RuPaul's Drag Race. Like, so it's safe to say you've had some pretty iconic readings the past few years. I have, I have. I've been very blessed and I've been very, very lucky to be able to, to sit with and communicate with so many amazing people. Sasha Colby is a very good friend of mine. She went on to win RuPaul's Drag Race, right? Um, Kylie Sonique Love, another really good friend of mine. I've done readings for her. Uh, Selena S. Titties, really good friend of mine, right? And if you go to my Instagram, you can see I've connected with so many great people. Kristen Doty from Vanderpump Rules, right? Paracel from Perfect Match. So many great reality stars. So it's been a beautiful journey. I am very blessed, very grateful, and very thankful. I am seriously so excited because you have graciously offered to do a reading with me. First card out of the gate. We have the cicada. The cicada is all about noise, right? So this card relates to the voice, right? This is a throat chakra card for me. This has to represent you and your voice and your throat chakra and how you're someone who enjoys using your voice and getting the word out there and being recognized. So what the universe is doing is it's acknowledging your path. It's acknowledging where you're at right now. It's saying you are on your soul path. You are doing what you were meant to be doing. Your voice is being heard and continue on the path. Don't ever let anyone stifle your voice or not allow you to be heard the way that you're meant to be heard because you have so much to say and so much for people to hear, okay? That's what this card is about, all right? A lot of times as cicadas, we can also say to ourselves, oh my God, they could be like loud and annoying and obnoxious after all, right? But it's all about the rhythm and the cadence and the sound. And that's what that card is about, right? Continue on your rhythm, continue on your cadence. Continue, continue with your sound. Does that make sense? Do you understand that? Absolutely, okay. yes. The other card that jumped out for you is the sun, which is faith, okay? Now, when people think of faith, people think of religion, okay? I'm gonna say that it could definitely mean that, but I also look at it as a universal message. It's about having faith in yourself. It's about having faith in the opportunities that are being presented to you. It's about having faith in the people that you surround yourself with, all right? So this card is acknowledging that we don't have to look at faith in such a box or in such a way that it makes us feel trapped. This card is here to let you know that faith can come in multiple different dimensions and in multiple, multiple different ways. And this card is acknowledging that you just have to make sure that your faith is always being shown in all of the things around you and no matter what you believe in, right? Faith in the universe faith in the spirit realm, wherever you're feeling you're putting your faith, there's an acknowledgement. So what the card is saying, continue to keep the faith in whichever area of your life best supports you and your highest and greatest good. And don't ever feel like you have to put faith in something that you don't align with. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Okay, so those are your two cards and those are your two messages, all right? I'm glad you understand the messages. I'm glad that I was able to do that for you. And I hope that you enjoyed that. It was fantastic. Those tarot cards, could not have come at a more perfect time. Those two messages like affected me like so well. They're the exact messages I was hoping to hear from you. So thank you so much for sharing those messages with me because it made the whole experience that much more fulfilling. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Ricky. I appreciate it.